And so I see a future where you know a 90-year-old goes back to being 50, they age out till they're 60, and then they just keep resetting every decade. That technology, we do we can do this in mice. We're not that biologically different in terms of our aging process. Would you turn back the clock on your age 20, 30, or more years if you could? Sounds like science fiction, right? Based on the emerging science, it may soon not be. In this video, I'll show you how rejuvenation through reprogramming is humankind's current best shot at true age reversal. So sit back and get ready to get your mind blown. There are currently two main ways to rejuvenate cells, organs, and organisms using reprogramming, with Yamanaka factors and chemical approaches, also known as chemical reprogramming. Let's first talk about reprogramming with Yamanaka factors, which are four genes that can revert certain cells to a youthful state. These four genes control other genes in the genome that enable stem cells to multiply, amongst many other functions. Finding that the combination of these proteins can reprogram mature cells to become younger and able to transform into other cell types is a massive deal. So much so that the 2012 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded jointly to Sir John B. Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka for this discovery. So why aren't we all yet popping Yamanaka factors like omega-3s? Well, the issue is that we don't want to hit the rewind button for too long because some of the aged cells will fully revert to stem-like cells called iPSCs and have the potential to form cancers known as teratomas. One potential solution to this hurdle is applying Yamanaka factors for only short periods of time called transient or partial reprogramming. Shorter bursts of Yamanaka factors were shown to rejuvenate aged cells while minimizing their change to stem-like cells and as a consequence lowering the risk of cancer. For example, in one study researchers applied Yamanaka factors with two other proteins, LIN28 and NANOG, to different types of human cells and saw improvements in cellular aging, including resetting of epigenetic clock, a method to measure biological age, decreased inflammation, and restoration of youthful recovery abilities of human muscle stem cells. Another study applied Yamanaka factors for short periods of time to cells from middle-aged donors. They found that their method rejuvenated the cells around 30 years based on a different biological age measure. Keeping in mind that this work was only done in cells, not organisms or human bodies, it suggests that epigenetic reprogramming may lower biological aging, decrease aging-related inflammation, and improve muscle recovery after exercise. Whoa, this is all very promising, but do Yamanaka factors have an effect in organs or whole organisms? Make sure you're sitting for this, because yes, yes they have. One study showed that brief application of Yamanaka factors before and during myocardial infarction or heart attack lowers damage to the heart muscle and improves heart function in mice. Epigenetic reprogramming is also effective in other organs, including neurons. Here's Dr. David Sinclair describing his lab's findings in restoring vision in mice with modified Yamanaka factors. We reverse the age of the eye of the mice, they get their vision, they age out again, and we just hit them again with the reversal and then they go back again. Astonishingly, Yamanaka factors have also been shown to extend health and lifespan in mice. In 2016, mice with a genetic disease that causes them to age prematurely had improved aging symptoms and prolonged lifespans after transient treatment with Yamanaka factors. In another study, when modified Yamanaka factors were transiently given to old mice, equivalent to roughly 70 years old in humans, they lived 109% longer than their non-treated peers. The treated mice were also healthier longer and didn't have any signs of increased cancer development. Now that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Researchers like Sinclair are moving into larger mammals like monkeys to test the effects of Yamanaka factors, so stay tuned. If you're liking this content and want to hear more about emerging anti-aging therapies, hit the like button and subscribe. While the promise of Yamanaka factors is alluring, there are still a lot of unresolved concerns about injecting these factors in the form of DNA or RNA into humans. Fortunately, 
there is evidence that specific chemicals or molecules can rejuvenate cells similarly to Yamanaka factors in a process called chemical reprogramming. In one study, researchers successfully used a combination of molecules to rejuvenate adult human cells into stem cells. Incredible, right? Here's how the authors put it. Our chemical approach has the potential to reboot regenerative potentials and reverse aging-related defects in human cells. What's more, a chemical approach has many advantages over DNA-RNA-based Yamanaka factors, including easier to control and standardize treatments, chemicals are easier to manufacture, standardize, and optimize, and lastly, there's no concern with integration into the genome. In other words, it's much easier and safer to pop some pills and play around with gene-based therapies. While we're still years away from epigenetic or chemical reprogramming testing on humans, there are some supplements and medications such as calcium AKG, NMN, NR, metformin, and rapamycin that may activate Yamanaka factors, alter the epigenome, and slow aging. Let's take a closer look at calcium AKG or alpha-ketoglutarate. In one study, researchers treated middle-aged mice with calcium AKG. Not only did the mice live longer, there was also a drastic effect on prolonged health, which is exciting because nobody wants to live longer in poor health. As you can see here, the mice treated with calcium AKG had less gray fur, better skin, less age-related bone conditions, and less cancers. But does calcium AKG actually reprogram the epigenome? Here's what Dr. David Sinclair has to say on that. So what, one interesting molecule is called alpha-ketoglutarate. And it is a, a molecule that's typically used by the body as part of an energy cycle. Um, it's also used to make amino acids. It's, it's a pretty common molecule. But what was discovered is that those three genes that we reversed aging with... Um, in the mouse and in human cells uh, can be activated or assisted by this alpha ketoglutarate or AKG. And uh, if you put it on human cells, the, their age goes backwards. We can measure that very accurately. Okay, okay. You may be thinking, what a phenomenal achievement for mice. But what about humans? Well, a small human trial recently showed that calcium AKG supplementation improved biological aging. Worth noting here that these studies have focused on calcium AKG, which is different from other forms of AKG supplements available. AKG has a well-vetted safety profile since it's been used as a supplement for decades, especially in bodybuilding circles. In addition, molecules such as NMN and NR have been shown to promote healthy aging in humans. Although these molecules have effects on the epigenome, they seem to slow aging rather than making cells younger. Further proof that epigenetic reprogramming has serious potential to extend human lifespan is a massive amount of funding, hotshot entrepreneurs, and creme de la creme scientists that have flooded into the reprogramming field. Here's three examples of many companies that have entered the reprogramming field in hopes of using this technology to unlock the fountain of youth. Altos Labs, a company co-founded by Rick Klausner and Hans Bishop in 2022 with a $3 billion, that's right, with a B, initial investment for many investors, including Jeff Bezos and Yuri Milner. They have also brought on many talented scientists, including Nobel laureates, doctors Jennifer Dudna and Shinya Yamanaka to achieve their goals. They combine cellular rejuvenation and programming with machine learning and artificial intelligence to reverse disease, injury, disabilities, and although they don't advertise it, aging. New Limit, co-founded by cryptocurrency billionaire Brian Armstrong and venture capitalist Blake Byers in 2022 with an initial seed investment of $105 million. Their scientific advisors include talented researchers, doctors Alex Marson, E. John Wary, and Mark Davis. Their focus is to unravel epigenetic reprogramming therapies for age-related diseases and aging with the aid of machine learning. Life Biosciences, a company co-founded by David Sinclair and Tristan Edwards. While the company may not have as much funding or hotshot scientists as the previous two mentioned companies, they're forging ahead with clinical trials and primates. As Dr. Sinclair puts it, 
We already have a drug in development to reset the age of the body. It's in non-human primates right now to cure blindness. We think that the same technology that we use in this paper and in the monkeys could be used to reset the age of literally any part of the body. The applications are as broad as you can imagine. Even resetting the brain, which seems to allow mice to learn again. We're exploring the possibility that when we reset the age of the body, diseases like Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease go away. This would be a new way of treating the major diseases of the planet. At the rapid pace that this technology is advancing, it may be possible within the first half of the century to visit your doctor's office for a chemical or Yamanaka treatment to turn back the clock 10, 20 or more years. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to see more content on emerging anti-aging technologies.